So this is going to be an uh, explanation on how to download the latest version of Vassal, and install all of the Vassal uh, extensions. And I'm going to be walking uh, my friend Chris through the installation process. So first thing, um, we'll go ahead and download the latest version. Um, for speed's sake, we've actually already done this, but you know it's very simple. You just click here and then download down the um, exe. Um, if you're running a Mac, it'll show that there's one for a Mac. So um, that that's there. Then, go to, uh, you just go to vasselengine.org, and I've downloaded it onto my desktop. And then here we're going to go ahead and, and install this. Uh, and it's a pretty, you know, uh, yeah, just click through the install process. It's not going to be too complex. Um, Quick launch option, but other than that, I'll just leave it on my desktop. But you can put that to whatever you want. Yep, just kinds of settings that you know it's sort of user preference. Um, but you know, as you can see, it's it's not a huge it's not a huge program, and there we're done with that part. So that that's installed. We'll, we'll open. So we already has uh, a few games already installed. Um, so we're going to add the X-Wing game to to this list. Um, if Chris, uh, go to uh, the vassal.org again. Um, if you go to the, the module section, um, you find, if you look under S, you'll find the Star Wars um, X-Wing modules. As you scroll down, it's very important to look under S because I remember when I was first looking for it. I was looking under X, but it's actually under Star Wars colon X Wing. So. Yeah, the same issue. Um, but they take you here, and as you can see, there are um, a few different versions to to go through. Um, I for that I'm going to be running. I I want everyone to use the 4.1 module. Um, the list version, a few additions. Um, if you're just on the side, it'll show what the, what it's compatible with. Um, this particular module only runs on the 3.22. The ones will want, run on 3.1 or or. Not. So in order to use this one, you have to be on the the latest version of Vassal, which is what we downloaded. Um, if you, yeah, can you just to show the um, uh, the, the see so the three point one version? Um, we want the three point two two. There you go. So um, the in Vassal, um, there's the, the module that you have, which is sort of the basic game. But all these extensions, uh, as you can see, um, that uh, they have additional um, into the game for. The extension it gives you all of the character and dials and all the other um, um, uh, pieces that you need to have X wings in, in the in the module. So we're going to download all of those 4.0 extensions. Um, Chris done this to make this a little quicker. We're going to. Um, 
in the module and we'll add those extensions. Uh, so go ahead, Chris, and get back into Vassal. Go to um, File. You're going to open Module. And then go to Directory until you find the, um, the Swing Module, which is 4.1, and go ahead and open Said I've already saved these to my uh, my uh, folder where I keep all my Vassal modules, so you can just put them wherever is most convenient for you. Uh, you know, a little bit of time as it unpacks all else, and then um, then in your name. Now, for real name, this is you know whatever it could be your name, it could be whatever name you like to go by. Uh, Chris goes by WAP Caplets password that you want for, for Vassal. Go ahead and just stay offline for right now. Um, this part you can you can even cancel out of this. We don't really need to um to this. This is actually just launching the game, but we're gonna we're gonna close that for right now and close that. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now, if you uh, right click on the the model, there's going to be an add extension there, and and, and then we're going to add all of those VMDX files um, that you have listed. Yeah. To Should I select all of them, or are we going to do them one at a time? I think you have to do them one at a time. Okay. There's an arrow on the, next to the module that shows you which ones you have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and add the others. There's only a few more to go. Could be a y or an A wing and uh, the fire spray. And The, the, yeah, those are the ones that you're missing. Sorry about that, folks. I thought I had moved them all across. So, add extension. So, not the A wing. Uh mm huh. -hmm. The. Okay. And. What are the ones explodey wings and or explodey things in three by three star map? The explodey things is um, it gives the chits for the mines uh, that you get with the slave or with the fire spray. Um, so it's the proximity mine and the seismic charge. Um, if you don't download that, then you won't you won't those, those pieces, so you won't be able to use those. Um, a three by three star map is just uh it's a nice map to have. Um you know, it's a, a it's basic but it, it it's it's pretty cool. So with that noise there for a second I 
I clicked on new extension by mistake, so I canceled it out of that. So now you have all of your extensions um, added. I actually recommend restarting um, after this, just to, um, and then and then launching, and you should see all the ships and stuff in there. Uh, that's that's the basics. I, I think that pretty much covers um, how to install. Um, Fassel. So we're going to include this one, and the next video series is going to be uh, actually putting together a squad, right, Scott? Yep. Okay. So we're good for now. Watch for this one.